Hi, everybody. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to cover the stores and inventory management system of the IOCell uh, PMS and all-in-one system. As you know, IOCell PMS is an all-in-one hotel ERP system in which you can manage all aspects of your hotel operations along with the hotel marketing um, in, in one seeming uh, seamless system. In other videos, we have covered various other aspects of hotel PMS, including front desk operations, point of sale, maintenance, housekeeping, uh, HR, and accounts. In this video, we will cover specifically the stores and the inventory management system. Now, the stores is typically anything that a hotel uses to purchase uh, any items onto its uh, uh, for its stores. It can be called as part of the inventory management or stores management system. So here we cover various aspects of the stores management system. Uh, one thing to note is that the stores management system can be configured at a group level. If you're operating a chain of hotels and you want to maintain a common purchase department and a common stores, or you can operate it at a hotel level, which is most common use case. In this particular video, we will focus on the hotel level aspect of store management. So the first thing what we, uh, let's dive deep, deep into it. The first thing here is the setting section. As you can see, the store section has many other aspects. We'll cover all of them. The first is the setting of the particular store. In the particular uh, setting section, what we have is a list of all vendors that we purchase items from. So any vendor will have various aspects like the vendor name, uh, the GST number or their tax number, and uh, any their account details and or any of their details that you want to add. So these are all the vendors created. Then you can have departments. Now departments can, you can set up the departments however you like. In some cases, uh, these are the departments that are typically gonna indent or issue items from the master store. So you can add as many departments as you want. You can have a department name, contact number and so on and so forth. The next is the item category. So any item that is there in the stores can be split between a master category and a subcategory. So here, for example, a master category can be a main kitchen and the subcategory can be divided into many uh, separate uh, subcategories. So here, uh, for example, we have housekeeping as a main category and all these cleaning items or linen or tailoring can be part of the subcategory. Now, the last part of the settings is the item, the master items. Now, this is really where you add every item that is purchasable into the system. So for example, you can add an item. So you can add any item, uh, you can select a category. So for example, if you have a, a category called housekeeping, you can add uh, an item called broom. Uh, you can select a subcategory. A sub so this could be cleaning items. You can select which all vendors could supply this item to you. So you can select multiple vendors here. Uh, who are the vendors? You can select how you want this uh, item to be tracked, uh, which unit you want. You can specify a rate and this could be an average rate, although for every purchase, you can edit this rate when you want. So suppose I wanna set an average rate of 100, uh, which could be the currency that the hotel is configured in. You can specify the tax group, which is also taken, these tax groups are automatically taken from the uh, PMS settings. Uh, you can specify whether it's tax inclusive, tax exclusive, whether this is an inventory item, like you wanna keep track of the inventory of the item. And you can, uh, whether it's a capital item, a capital item is something that typically is not purchased regularly. So you can think of a air conditioning or a table or a chair or a bed as a capital item. And what is the opening stock of this item? Now this stock, you can enter at any time. So suppose you wanna uh, have like for brooms, you wanna say at any time that in my store, I have a total of 10 brooms currently, and that could be the opening stock as we speak. So I'm not gonna create this item, but what you see here is a list of all the items that we have, you can select it by a category. So for example, in housekeeping, these are the uh, category of items. These are the stocks that we have. So this is the current item uh, of stock. So we have um, 18 packets of green tea, for example, at this particular value that is currently there in our uh, stores. Now, now that we've covered the basic setup of the stores, I'm gonna give you a brief overview of all the stages that go involved in the stores and inventory management system. We have the purchase orders, we have invoices, we have indent, stock, consumption, and reports. Purchase order is typically the first step when we want to purchase any item 
from a particular vendor. So you can select any vendor, you can select any item that has already been configured as, as what, we, what we want. We can select any kind of quantity that we are trying to purchase. The default rate will show in there, but you can select any rate that you want for a particular item and you can add that item. So like that, I can have a purchase order of multiple items, uh, but this has to be for each vendor. So every time I create a particular purchase order, I have to create a, a particular uh, a PO from a particular vendor and I can add as many items as I want. Once this PO is created, I could actually approve it. So depending on the kind of user, um, uh, a, a kind of user access, each of those POs can be approved. Uh, they are not, uh, you can't see them, but let's assume if I, if I just add a particular item here and uh, I create a particular PO. Now this particular PO can be approved here depending on the, uh, the user access that we have. Once it is approved, I'm not gonna do it. It can be invoiced. And once it is invoiced, you have to enter the invoice number that the particular vendor has given it. Once that is done, a particular uh, any PO is converted into an invoice. So now these are the invoices. As you can see here, this is a particular invoice from a particular vendor with a particular set of items that has a, uh, an invoice number that could be added to it. Uh, so here you're saying the invoice number is added onto it. Now, once those goods are received, once they are there in the invoice section, I can add this item that says goods received. Once that is there, the, particular, the goods are received, the particular items are added to the master stock of that particular stores, as we say. This is how we can purchase more items and they get, keep getting added onto our master stock. Now, for an indent, uh, a particular indent can be created by each department, depending on the access that we have. So you can have each department that can... Uh, can indent items from the master store. You can select a category and a subcategory. All the items will show up and you can uh, decide to indent as many items as you want. And based on that, you can keep adding indents. These indents will show up here as indents, which are done by each of these departments. These indents can be approved. And once they are approved, we can receive them. Once we receive them, the particular item goes out of the master stock inventory and goes on to the department stock. Talk here, which is for that particular department. So we can select which department, for example, uh, my housekeeping department I know has this much item that is issued for each of those items are issued to me. So they get deducted automatically from the master stock and they get... Um, uh, and they get added to the department stock, right? So the, the next thing is the consumption. You can consume any item, so you can define, we can either set the auto consumption from our POS system. So whenever any item gets sailed or billed to the customer, they get auto consumed, or I can consume anything manually. So I can actually specify what is the department, what is the item, and I consume it. Once that happens, that stock item automatically gets reduced from the department stock and goes into a consumption section. Last part of this is the report section. I can actually specify any date. I can see what was indented each of the particular items. I can see it item wise. I can see it department wise. I can see it category wise. I can see what, even if I want to see the purchase orders, I want to see which purchase order category, category wise was done. I can what is the total amount, both quantity as well as the value of the items that was uh, purchased. I can drill down on them and I can see what each of those values were purchased, uh, so on and so forth. So I know it's a little bit complicated, but once you, once IOCell team works with you to set this up, a lot of this will ease out. What I did, what I just demoed to you was the entire configuration of the stores and inventory management system, right from setting each of the items, the vendors, the departments, along with the purchase orders, the invoices, the indents, the stocks, and the reports. Thank you very much for watching.